everybody, welcome back. Um, today I've decided to try to join the um, 100 day project. I know I'm a little bit late getting going, but I thought, well, it's better late than never. Um, so I'm going to try to, over the next couple of days, make up the projects and get on, on track with everybody else. Um, one of the things I've been wanting to do is more um, of the altering of my envelopes because I've seen a lot of people you know doing some really beautiful things out there so I thought this might be a really good opportunity to, to work with that at least for you know some of the um, the days and I don't know as it goes along I may change that but um, I thought just to try to get caught up that's going to be my focus is um, is working on that so let's just get started I'm going to try to keep these fairly simple um, as just you know, a little process because I think sometimes I'm overthinking things and I don't know, maybe some of you are as well. So, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. This is, this is something totally new for me, but it just sounded like a really fun um, project to get involved in. And, yeah, uh, hopefully this will encourage some of you that have been thinking about it to go ahead and jump in as well. So... So yeah, I don't know. Like I said, this is totally different because it's not really a tutorial. I guess it's just more of a um, process video and I don't know that I've done that before, have I? I, I think I generally come on here either with a flip through or, um, you know, a tutorial in mind. But we'll see how this goes. It may not even make it, uh, make it to YouTube if it's a big old flop. So, <laughs> but yeah. So, you guys know I've been trying to go through my stash, and um, I just think this might be another good way to to start using up some more of my stuff, because um, my bag is, is uh, of things, of scrap, is just getting big, big, big again. I cleared it out a while back, but I've been doing a lot of journals lately, and it just has uh, managed to get out of hand again, so... Like I said, I'm not going to think too much about this. I'm just going to do it, and uh, hopefully I'll like how this comes out, because I have no idea how it's going to be. But I think sometimes that can be your best, best projects, is if you don't think too much about it, but I may live to regret those words. <laughs> So I hope everybody's had a good start to the week. I did. I um, I had to run into town today and do some posting. And um, I popped into a couple of the little thrift shops here in town. And I managed to get some really, really nice um, lace. If I get the chance... In the next week, I'll show you. I just don't really want to be bothered getting it out at the moment because um, I just kind of want to stay focused on this. But yeah, I was really thrilled about that. So I can't complain. I've been really fortunate in the last uh, couple of weeks. I've been picking up some really nice uh, items. Oh, dang. I wish I hadn't done that. That's just it's got glue. I'll have to get that up here shortly. Let me see if I can put the stamp on here. Let's do a little bit of stamp to fill that white space. I think I'll do a little bit in the back as well. Like I said, this is um, something I've not really spent a lot of time doing, and I've really been wanting to because um, I've seen some of the envelopes that um, 
have been coming across the Facebook groups and they have been absolutely beautiful. So let me see what else I can use here. Why not give it a try? Let me tear this and see how I like that. Yeah, I just decided to do that this evening because I thought, oh, I don't, I don't really want to. Um, to work on a journal tonight. I just really want to do something, you know, that's fun for me. And um, I spotted this challenge from Roxy Creations, and I thought, oh gosh, I'll just jump in. I know I'm I'm late, but if I can, uh, you know, try to catch up. And stay on track. My concern is being able to be, um, you know, dedicated to something for a hundred days. I think that's going to be a challenge on its own for me. But we'll give it a try. Um, let me see. I feel like it needs some kind of sticker. Let me see if I've got anything. That's frustrating. I know I've got stickers somewhere, guys, but I cannot for the life of me find them. So let me just see if I can cut something. I don't know. Let me see what I've got here. Ah, here they are. I knew I had them, but... Um, when I don't use things a lot, I tend to forget where I've put them. So let's see if I put something black, I think. Be open to whatever comes next. I think that's a really good one for this because that's the whole point of this, I think, is to, um, to maybe not overthink things. I like that, actually. I mean, it's not as, as pretty as some of the ones I've seen on Facebook, but I'm actually happy with that, so I'm going to consider that one. So yay, I'm going to sit that over the side, and <clears throat> if this goes well, who knows, I might be able to get caught up tonight, I don't know. I don't want to rush it, that's for sure, but, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm trying to, when it's kind of my time, I want to have... <clears throat> A bit more freedom in, you know, trying to create without um, thinking things over so much. Because, you know, that's a problem I have. I, If I'm not careful, I try to keep things very orderly, and I, I'm trying to get away from that. Because my the journals that I actually admire the most from the ladies, <clears throat> you know, my favorites or journals that, that don't match, um, but yet somehow it all seems to just fit beautifully. Um, this was left over, and I think I want to use that somehow, but I think it needs a bit of book page, maybe. I've got so much scraps left over, I'm going to try to use... Put 
this over here. So yes, I've been trying to um, to ease up on using the Fabri-Tac lately because I had gotten really bad, particularly when I was doing anything on camera, um, about grabbing it because we all know, I mean, it, it does adhere so much quicker than any of these other glues, but I'm just really trying to ease up on that because it <coughs> there's no doubt it was... It's been irritating my throat, so um, let me see. I feel like I want to do something else. Let me see. These are some of those beautiful stamps that um, Tracy sent me. And I'm just wondering if I could use that. That might be quite pretty with that. Is I don't know. Is it too much floral, do you think? Maybe it needs something like that. Might look nice. I think I'll try that. I'll keep these out, though, because I think those are going to be quite handy for this. The only thing I'm not too sure about now that I've made this is... Um, this is a 6x6, six six, and I bet that won't fit into any of my journals, so I may have to use this as like a happy mail. Oh, I actually like that. Yeah, I really like that. I should have probably did a bit of stamping, maybe. Tell you what, let me grab a stamp real quick. So I'm going to say that's two. Two done, guys. I really, <laughs> this is so, so nice to be able to do this because um, it just, it, sometimes you just get bogged down with um, the big projects and I have went probably longer than I I've ever have, really, without a bit of a break. So um, I think I really do need this. Probably. In fact, I haven't. It's been a couple of weeks since I even worked in my art journal. And I had thought at one point I might use that as one of my days just to play around in it because that might be kind of nice. Now, this one, I think I'm going to put something behind that because I don't think I want to see that through. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use this. Probably ought to give some thought on that, really. I should have thought about that before, really. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm back to overthinking again. I'm just going to make something pretty, and then if i got a way to use it, great. If not, then I will have just enjoyed my time. So yeah, um, so it's in the evening here, and um, what I'm finding is 
<clears throat> towards the end of the day. My voice is just, um, is give out, so um, I probably <laughs> won't be doing a lot of chatting, guys, but that's, um, that's just the way it is. Uh, my husband, I don't think, is too upset because I saw a specialist and um, everything's fine, but he said that uh, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> overuse my voice and uh, definitely no screaming so my husband thought you know he'd won the lottery there he, uh, he couldn't even keep his, a straight face when I told him the news I think he was absolutely delighted so um, so yeah <laughs> so this time of day if, if I do any filming unfortunately that's just the way it's going to be because I cannot um I cannot speak very very long at this time of day. It's, it's, it's just too much a strain. I have no idea what, where this is all going. I don't know. It may just not. It may just be a big old flop. I don't know. But like I said, I just really just want to play and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it I don't know <laughs> like I said it's totally different for me to be on here like this I feel it feels a little bit odd to to come on here and not have something in mind but I guess um, it's one of the things you have to get used to when you're on the on the channel here okay so I don't know do I like that well Kind of stuck with it, aren't we? Let's see what else I can do to brighten that up. I need something, doesn't it? Got these left over. I wonder if I could use those somehow. Yeah, I kind of feel like this one maybe I've gotten far off. I don't know if I can salvage that. Let's see. Let's just try. Um, so I've told you guys about my thrift store. Fine. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I'm working on a flower garden journal for Artie Mays. Um, and then, let's see, I've got uh, another one I've got coming up is a hummingbird journal for Calico Collage. Working on that one. And I'm going to revisit Tracy um, Fox's Ula Chic. I'm going to do another one of those, but it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a five signature. Um, so that's going to be coming up as well. Okay, that's, I don't know, there still feels like something's not right. Let's put one of these up here and see if that helps. Um, trying to think if there's any others. So that's Ari Mays. Calico Collage, Tracy's La Chic. Um, I believe that's that's all I've got going at the moment. Because I've just finished a uh, couple and got those shipped this today. So um, I could show you guys one of the covers I made. Now this is this isn't going to go out. This was just a, a try. Um, and I'll tell you why it won't be. I'm going to have to tweak this. What I've decided to do is I'm going to cut these down and turn them into journaling cards. And the reason why is I did not put any um, batting under this and I don't like it. It's just sewn to the cardstock and I don't like the way it feels. Um, nothing about it except you know that I'm really happy with how the patchwork came out 
So I'm going to cut these down into four journal cards and then back them with um, probably a index card. But you get the concept. Um, I've got plans for something, a couple of journals like this in the future that will be fabric um, because I, I really am loving working with the material. So um, that's another thing I've got hopefully in the works. Okay, I'm not too sure about this one, guys. I think this might be a big old flop, but I kind of like that one. I think that's come out nice. This one's lacking something. Maybe some lace I could add or something. This one I really like. I think that one's really, really nice. I love that image. So I'm happy with that. Um, that one, hmm, probably a dud. Um, now, a red. What could you do with a red one? Let's see. Um, let me see if I can tear some of this up. I don't know. Red just might not be doable. Let me set that to the side because I'm not really feeling it with that one. Okay. This was a little printout. I got off, off the internet of an old recipe, and I thought this might be kind of fun because it's it's not a great printout, so I think it would just be fun to use this as a background. Gosh, I'm sorry. I should have been checking. I hope you guys have been in the frame for all of that. Um, let me do, distress this a bit. some of them. You know, I could grab some napkins. I forgot. I've got those. I could do a little bit of napkin decoupage. But let me see if I can do that. I think Oh gosh, I forgot about these. Um, Carol Loss did a swap with me and I forgot she gave me, this, this is beautiful, she gave me some, um, we swapped to napkins. I'm wondering, oh I might do that over that, that's, that's beautiful. Somebody showed that you could do the napkins with um, a glue stick and I I think my glue stick has dried up, which I must get around. I'm just going to tear a bit of this, I think, because I won't need much. Gosh, these are beautiful colors. It's unusual to find anything really yellow, I think. Um, and they, I love the yellow in the journals. So I guess that's why I'm drawn to the um, sunflower ones. Oh God, I'm going to have to get the Mod Podge out, aren't I? I'll use this. I've got my Tim Holtz. I'll use it. You guys know. It's brutal. I just do. It's just, I hate doing decoupage. <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible. But I have to say, this and the um, matte gel is much, much nicer to work with. But I, every now and then I just grab the, the Mod Podge and boy, I regret it the minute I start working with it. Hoping that that recipe I should come through that one that 
That's the only thing I have noticed with the Tim Holtz stuff. It dries so quick. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see if I'm going to lie you this or not. I'll set that to the side and let that one dry. I have to come back to that. You guys can, might not see that one until tomorrow. Okay, let's see. This is um, an envelope. I love the size of that. I picked this up at a car boot. And uh, it's lined and it's got like the gold... It's just pretty, really pretty envelope. So I'm going to see if I can do something. Got my writing on that other side. I can't, I can't turn that over. I have all my notes on that. So I keep a fresh sheet out in the morning. And when I'm working, when I think of ideas that I want to incorporate in the journal I'm working on or a future one. I just set, you know, little columns for, depending on, you know, like I said, i got three journals right now, so I have them labeled in different spots. And as I'm working and things come to me, I just jot those things down. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it's, it's in my process, I'm always thinking, I mean, Last night I woke up in the middle of the night and I just was thinking about how I wanted to lay the uh, one of the pages out. And I I have to, you know, obviously you're not trying to disturb everybody, but you want to write these things down when, when it comes to you because if I don't, by the morning I may have forgotten. So, um, let's see. I need to do something a little bit different on this one. Let's see what I've got in my stash, guys. Let's just, I don't know. Just, we'll just try and see. I do like this. This is some of that Tim Holtz. It's a pretty pattern. I like that. I might use the bird, maybe have it long ways and have that, I might try that. This is what, when, when I've got anything left over, I just keep hanging on to it because most of the time, I can always find a use for it. It, it might take a while. Um, but generally, I end up coming back and finding a use to to all my digitals that I print. Oh gosh, guys, we're almost out of time. I'm going to stop right here and uh, have to get this downloaded. I didn't realize... Okay, guys, sorry about that. That filled up really, really quickly. Um, so I've emptied it out, and um, because it's starting to get a little bit late here, guys, I've just carried on, and I'm just going to show you what I ended up with. I didn't complete everything I needed to do, but that's okay. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll get time to do two, and that will get me back on track. So. I'll show you the one I like the least, which is this one. If you guys saw me. I went back, I added a little tag that I'd gotten on um, some jewelry I picked up today at one of the thrift stores. So I just saved the little tag I've covered up because it had a label on there. And then these were just various things, as you saw. Um, and then I've got that glued inside because I just wanted to permanently see that, I think. So... Yeah, that one's mm, probably won't get used because I'm not mad on it. But anyways, um, that's one I need to work on tomorrow. If I carry on. I don't know. I may not do any more envelopes. I'll just have to see how I feel tomorrow. This one I like. I came back and added a little bit of um, patterned paper. I felt like it needed something. So I like that. I'm happy with how that's come out. 
So that's two. And then this one I did end up going ahead and using the red one. And I'm happy with that. Um, it, I don't know. It's going to be tricky to incorporate that into a um, journal, but maybe I'll find a use for it. And I suppose maybe that's not the point of this. Um, maybe it's just to make you more free in your um, creative process. I don't know, but uh, I really like this. This is probably my favorite. I found this was an extra um, a little bit of um, paper I had left over. And it's for the month of April, which I thought was perfect for this. So... Um, I'm really, really pleased with how that's come out. I think everything matched really nicely on that. I like the size of that envelope, so I can see that one getting used for sure. And this one as well. I'm happy with that. I, it probably needs a bit of lace, maybe a button or two. And the same with this one. I think this probably could do with a little bit of lace and a button. And then that should just about finish those out. So, yeah, I I think of the five, I can see these three being used. So that's probably a lesson going forward is um, to steer clear of the the colors that because I'm you guys know I'm more drawn to these kind of colors. So I probably should keep working within the ones I like. Anyways, so there they are, guys. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> um, I just thought it was important to get back to um, to doing something for myself, and so this was a good opportunity just to jump in on the 100-day um, project. So um, thanks, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.